why giraffes barely make a sound, uncovering their quiet communication. The quiet presence, they are the silent sentinels of the savanna. Their immense presence felt more than heard. While other African animals fill the air with roars, calls, and trumpeting, the giraffe often seems to exist in a world of quietude. It's a common perception that these towering giants are almost entirely mute. But is that truly the case? And if they do make sounds, why do we rarely hear them? Not strictly silent. The myth debunked, contrary to popular belief, giraffes are not completely silent. The idea that they make no sound at all is, in fact, a myth we've explored before. They do vocalize, albeit often very quietly and perhaps less frequently than many other mammals. They've been observed making snorts, coughs, moans, and even a sort of bleat. But these sounds are typically short range, used in specific situations, and often easily missed amidst the vastness and natural sounds of the savanna. The anatomy challenge, a long way for sound one significant factor contributing to their perceived quietness, lies in their unique anatomy. Consider the sheer length of a giraffe's neck and thus, the length of its trachea, the windpipe, connecting the lungs to the larynx where vocal cords are located. This tube can be over 12 feet long, pushing enough air with sufficient force and control all the way up that enormous distance to create loud, sustained vocalizations is a massive physiological challenge. It requires far more effort than for an animal with a short neck. Their respiratory system is incredibly efficient for breathing. but perhaps less optimized for generating loud, complex sounds. Behavioral factors. Stealth and solitude. Beyond the physical challenge, behavioral factors likely play a role. Giraffes are not typically herd animals in the same dense, highly interactive way as elephants or wildebeest. While they form loose associations, they are often spread out across the landscape. Engines are your loud, frequent calls might not be necessary for maintaining contact over large distances, especially when visual communication is so effective given their height. Their height also provides excellent visibility for spotting predators, no, reducing the need the for one. alarm calls that <laughs> might give away <laughs> their position. Here you go. There you go. Oh. You see that? Did she get it, baby? Or she dropped it? There she's we dropping go. it. She looks. She's dropping it almost, baby. She didn't really get it in there. You see the giraffe? You wanna feed him? A quiet presence can also be an advantage for stealthy movement 
in certain situations. The mysterious nighttime hum. A recent discovery, despite their general quietude, recent research using sensitive audio equipment has revealed a fascinating discovery. Giraffes produce a low frequency humming sound, primarily at night. This isn't a loud call, but a deep resonant hum that's often below the threshold of easy human hearing. The exact purpose is still being studied, but scientists speculate it could be a way for scattered individuals. It's a quiet conversation happening right under our noses or rather over our heads. Communication beyond sound ultimately. Giraffes rely heavily on non-vocal communication. Their impressive height and keen eyesight mean they can see each other over vast distances, making visual signals highly effective. Body posture, ear and tail movements, and even how they hold their heads convey information. Physical contact, like nuzzling between mothers and calves, is also crucial for social bonding. Their relative lack of loud sound doesn't mean they don't communicate. They simply do so through different, perhaps more subtle, channels perfectly suited to their unique form and lifestyle. A symphony of silence, the perception that giraffes are silent isn't entirely false. They simply aren't loud in the way many other animals are. Their quiet demeanor is a fascinating blend of anatomical constraints and behavioral adaptations. From the physical challenge of a long trachea to the effectiveness of visual communication and the intriguing mystery of their nighttime hum, the giraffe's world of sound is far more complex and subtle than we might initially assume. They remind us that in nature, communication takes many forms and sometimes the most powerful presence is the one that makes barely a sound.